क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट जनरल साइंस चैप्टर एटीन इको सिस्टम्स एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन वन कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग बाय यूजिंग करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए एयर वाटर मिनरल्स सॉइल आर फिजिकल फैक्टर्स ऑफ एन इकोसिस्टम बी रिवर पॉन्ड्स ओशन आर एक्वाटिक इकोसिस्टम्स सी मैन इज कंज्यूमर इन एन इकोसिस्टम क्वेश्चन टू मैच द फॉलोइंग प्रोड्यूसर इकोसिस्टम ए कैक्टस डिजर्ट बी एक्वाटिक प्लांट्स एक्वाटिक सी मैनग्रोव क्रिक डी पाइन फॉरेस्ट क्वेश्चन थ्री गिव माय इंफॉर्मेशन ए इकोसिस्टम आंसर इकोसिस्टम इज द स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्म बाय द इंटर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड नॉन लिविंग कंपोनेंट्स इन देयर सराउंडिंग हैबिटेट्स लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर आल्सो कॉल्ड बायोटिक फैक्टर्स वाइल द नॉन लिविंग कंपोनेंट्स आर कॉल्ड अबायोटिक फैक्टर्स द बायोटिक एंड अबायोटिक फैक्टर्स हैव अ रेसिप्रोकल रिलेशनशिप विद ईच अदर द इकोसिस्टम हैज प्लांट्स एंड प्रोड्यूसर्स एनिमल एज कंज्यूमर and microbes as decomposers the decomposers return the substances back to the nature by process of decomposition in which the organic complex molecules are reduced to their inorganic constituent thus the dead remains of plants and animals are once again recycled back to the nature in any healthy ecosystem b biome answer biomes are a larger collection of small ecosystems which are similar in their structure in a particular biome there are same climatic abiotic factors and similar living organisms biomes are of two main types land biomes and aquatic biomes the land biomes exist only on land land biomes are of following subtypes based on the abiotic factors for example grassland evergreen forest deserts tundra ecosystem ecosystem in taiga tropical rainforests etc aquatic biomes include fresh water ecosystem marine ecosystem and brackish water ecosystem found in the creeks c food web answer the complex feeding relationship forms a food web in nature in any ecosystem the food chains are not straight and linear but these are quite complex a prey is consumed by a predator but this predator can itself be a prey to some other predators example frog is the predator for variety of insects but frog is preyed up to by snake and the snake can be eaten by a bird the same bird can also feed on insects or frog the interrelationships between different biotic components of any ecosystem thus form the complicated food web question 4 give scientific reasons a plants in an ecosystem are called producers answer plants have the ability to produce food by performing photosynthesis they are 
autotrophic and are able to utilize solar energy by absorbing inorganic substances. They produce organic food. Therefore, they are called producers in an ecosystem. B. Large dams destroy ecosystems. Answer. When a large dam is constructed, the original landscape is changed. The trees are cut down, causing deforestation. The wild animals lose their habitat. Many of them become extinct. There is great loss of flora and fauna due to construction of large dams. There is a new pressure on the land surface causes due to stored water column. This may cause earthquake. The human settlement are removed as their houses and farms are immersed under water. In all the above ways, large dams destroy the ecosystem. C. Rhinos were restored in Dudhwa forest. Answer Large ago in last century. Dudhwa forest was the natural habitat of the one horned rhino. However, due to hunting and poaching, the rhino became almost extinct. In order to restore it back, the breeding in captivity was attempted and the young ones were released in the natural habitat. Saving the precious wildlife is important and hence these efforts were done. Question 5. Answer the following. A. What are the effects of increased population on ecosystem? Answer 1. Human population growth rate is very big as compared to other animals. 2. Moreover, they are apex consumers in an ecosystem. Just like any other organisms, ecosystem provides all the basic needs to humans too. 3. However, man demands much more due to excessive population. The natural resources are utilized on the large scale only by man. 4. Changing lifestyle, consumerism, degradation of nature and population are certain aspects which are created only by human beings. 5. All these cause increased stress on the ecosystems. Large human population also produce large scale solid wastes. B. How is urbanization responsible for destruction of ecosystems? Answer. When people do not get sufficient food and other amenities, they migrate to the cities. The cities provide employment for many people due to industries, factories and other facilities. Every day, many people migrate to cities. This causes urbanization. Due to increased population in cities, there is more need for housing. This results in loss of agricultural lands, marshlands, wetlands, forests, and grasslands, etc. The natural ecosystems are lost in an attempt to have developmental work. Human interference causes changes in the ecosystems. When land usage is changed, many naturally occurring species of plants and animals are exterminated. Animals, humans, conflicts are very common in newly established urban areas which are near the natural forests. C. What are the reasons for war? Answer. There are difference of opinions and competition over land, water, mineral resources, etc. Among neighboring countries, moreover, there can be economic and political causes 
which lead to war among different countries. Many a time, the relations and ethnicity are also causes for dispute. Due to international conflicts, the peace is disturbed and it results in war. D. Explain the interactions among the factor of ecosystem. Answer 1. The abiotic factor such as air, water, soil, sunlight, temperature, humidity, etc. affect the biotic factors. For example, the surviving plants, animals and microbes in the ecosystem. 2. The type of abiotic factors in an ecosystem determine the survival of biotic factors. The population of these biotic factors is also dependent on the quality of abiotic factors. 3. The proportion of abiotic factors in an ecosystem fluctuates as biotic factors use up or release particular abiotic factors. 4. Every biotic factor also interact with its necessary abiotic factors as well as other biotic factors around it. E. Differentiate between evergreen forests and grasslands. Evergreen forests 1. About 7% of the earth's surface is occupied by evergreen forests. About 30% of the earth's surface is covered by grasslands. 2. More than half of the earth's terrestrial plants and animals are seen in evergreen forests. Grazing animals are seen in grasslands. 3. Tropical evergreen forests are dense, multi-layered. Grasslands consist of tall grass. There are wild grasses and there may be some trees. 4. These forests are found in the areas receiving more than 200 cm annual rainfall. That is very heavy rainfall. 4. There is an average of 20 to 35 inches of rainfall a year in grassland. 5. Tropical regions show evergreen forests. Several parts of the world have grasslands. Question 6. Describe the following pictures. Answer. The picture number 1 is showing desert ecosystem, while the picture number 2 is showing a forest ecosystem where wetland is also shown. In desert ecosystem, the producers are green cactus and palm tree. Since in desert, there are scanty rains, the vegetation is very less. The soil is sandy soil. The consumers of the desert are also limited. In the above picture, camel is showing which is a primary consumer in the desert ecosystem. Camel is very well adapted for the desert life. There is also scarcity of water in desert and hence cactus shows xerophytic adaptations. In second picture, the forest ecosystem is shown because we can see elephant and tiger in the picture. Also, giant hornobile is sitting on the tree. This forest must be tropical evergreen forest. The rainfall is heavy in such areas and hence different types of wetlands can be seen in forest. Wetlands support variety of life. A separate aquatic ecosystem does exist here which is closely interconnected with the terrestrial ecosystems through the food chains and food web. The bird utilizes the fish as their prey. The wild animals come to wetlands to quench their thirst. 
in this picture the plants grass etc are producers small fishes in the lake are primary consumers they will be eaten by larger fishes which are secondary consumer in the aquatic ecosystem the elephant is herbivorous animal and hence it is primary consumer snake is the secondary consumer while the bird of prey and tiger are tertiary consumer